Hello, Ducks hockey fans everywhere. And hello to all who's listening to this video right now on YouTube. I just want to give you my reaction, thoughts, and personal recap on the Anaheim Ducks 2022 NHL Draft class. The 29th NHL Draft has now come and gone for our Anaheim Ducks, and I'm going to say that I'm very happy with all eight selections the Ducks have made. Our team has addressed various issues regarding to the defense and the center based upon the departure of Lindholm and Josh Manson at the NHL trade deadline at March of month, and of course, the retirement of Ryan Getzlaw. Three important key highlights I'd like to get, point out to all of you. These highlights give you a deep understanding and they give me a deep appreciation on what Ducks GM Patrick Beek is doing in completing the on-ice reforms, trading and signing and drafting right players who could fit into the Ducks system of hockey. It goes something like this. These are the three highlights. At number three, all Ducks draft picks that were selected are above six foot one, meaning that size along with talent and skill will be injected to the rank and file of our team. This is a good thing. We need some size. We need some physical aggression that could go hand in hand with skill, talent, and speed with the likes of Trevor Z, Z Man Zigris, Jamie Drysdale, Troy Terry, and others. The drafting of Nolan Ryan, defenseman, Tr Tristan Lanou, uh, Pavel Mityukov, centers Nathan Goche. It gives all Ducks fans a symbol of optimism and hope for the future seasons and years to come for the Ducks cause and our Anaheim Ducks. The number two highlight is the Ducks drafting their 2022 NHL draft class. They address some needs. Three out of the eight of the Ducks NHL draft selections were defensemen. One left-handed defenseman and two right-handed defensemen. We all knew that this would be addressed with Lindholm and Manson and the Ducks depth on the blue line is thin out due to Ducks GM Pat Verbeek initiating the NHL trade deadline moves in the month of March. So it does not and should not surprise all Ducks fans. The Ducks also addressed other needs in the forward positions and in the center with two centers, one left winger, and one right winger, and also added one goaltender to the Ducks goaltending depth. So that is number two highlight. And then the number one highlight for our Anaheim Ducks and for all Ducks fans is the Ducks drafting a Russian. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Ducks drafting a Russian in the first round. For the first time in 21 years, our Anaheim Ducks have drafted a Russian, especially a Russian defenseman. The Ducks drafting a 10th overall, Pavel Mityukov from Saginaw Spirit of the OHL. There's a lot of upsides in Mityukov. And we know those upsides, and I don't need to repeat it to all of you. But hearing his name, hearing that he is a Russian, tells me and tells all Ducks fans that this new direction will include all talented, skilled, physical players from any country, whether it be United States, Canada, Finland, Sweden, and of course, Russia or Switzerland will be drafted based on talent, skill, and integration into the Ducks system of hockey. Now, I'm not gonna lie to most of you. 
Hearing the Ducks drafting Pavel Mitukov, a Russian defenseman, puts a smile on my face. It marks the first time in 21 years the Ducks have drafted the Russian. The last time the Anaheim Ducks drafted a Russian was in 2001, when the then Mighty Ducks drafted a right winger from Russia named Stanislav Chistov. We could talk about the, the future class of our team, but we know and we trust the on-ice reforms that Ducks GM Pat Verbeek is doing. These eight players, I have confidence and I look forward to their development as the years and seasons go along. Which is why I give, for the first time, the Ducks 2022 NHL Draft Class, and this is the first I've done before. I'm grading the Ducks Draft Class, which Ducks GM Pat Beek has done, has completed a B. Not a B minus, not a B plus, a B. To be clear, this is under a new Ducks General Manager who is on the job for the past few months, and he has done things that I believe will improve our team. Right now, today, since this is free agent frenzy, we'll have to wait and see what he will do. Will he stand pat or will he do a course correction for our Anaheim Ducks? We can only wait and see. Till then, go Ducks.